if you want to export Excel data onto multiple sheets from your Python environment. Okay, so with your um, dictionary data here, you want to convert them into um, an Excel sheet with an Excel file with multiple sheets. Now I'm just going to convert these dictionaries into data frames. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll import pandas here. I'll import pandas as pd, then I can create my df1. Uh, so I'm using this data1 to create a data frame called df1. You understand? And then I'm going to duplicate it so that I will create DF2 from from D2 or my data2, and I'll create DF3 from D3 here. So basically, I've converted these dictionaries. You can follow my videos by subscribing to the channel and consider leaving a thumbs up on this video thank you and this last dictionary into data frames remember data frames are like tables okay they are essentially tables now we can go ahead to create our excel sheet now in order to create your excel excel sheet you need to identify a path where you want to create it into so i'm going to create a variable called path okay like this and i'm going to copy a file path into this quotation marks research okay so I'm going to copy from here into this okay and I'm going to add slash then the name of the file okay so I could call it multiple underscore sheets dot x l s x remember you have to add the file name with its extension in order for it to work now that you have your path I could call this one an our output path or just path it's fine we can go ahead and create an excel writer okay so with pd dot with pd dot excel writer then i put in my path into the excel writer as let's just call it writer or engine like this as engine this is where you can now convert your data frames into um, Excel sheets. Now, if it were just one data frame, for instance, you wanted to convert DF1 into um, into an Excel file, all I had to do is DF1 dot to Excel uh, Excel than the name of the path, right? But because you are trying to write several data frames into one file, you would have to come and put it inside this um, this indentation, okay? So with pd.xlwriter, you input the path as engine, okay? Now, what you're gonna do here is one dot to Excel, Excel, like this. Then you give it the Excel, uh, Excel underscore writer here equals to the engine we created. Remember this engine here? That's the Excel writer. Let me just give some space. And then you give the sheet name. All right. That's what you want the sheet name to be called. Uh, DF1. Let's say DF1 is names. Okay. So I'll just call this one bio. All right. Now you've, you've been able to do it for DF1. Let's just do it for DF2 also. DF2.2 Excel like this and you pass in the excel writer as engine right and then the sheet name also uh this one what do we call this one i just call it scores all right scores like this and then um what's the last one df3 okay it calls to oh i missed something here underscore so df3 df3.2 
underscore Excel. Then I pass in the Excel writer, um, Excel writer, which is the engine, and then the sheet name, which I will call, uh, let me just call it GPA, all right? Now you can do this for as many Excel sheets as you have, all right? And it should convert all of them into, um, into an Excel file with many sheets. So now, when you run the code, let's run it first and see what we get. Okay, so it tells us that it's done running. Now I'm just going to open that path. We called it multiple sheets, so I think it's inside my research 22. Yeah. Okay, good. An Excel file has been created with. Um, let's just open that and see. So if you want to remove these columns, all you have to do is let me show you how to do that. So to do that, I'm just going back to my spider here and I'm going to make index equals false. Now I'm just going to copy this and put it among into the rest of, of them. It's because the index has been automatically set to true. That's how come you have these. Um, so I'm just going to close this one and run it again. Open it and see what we get. All right, so you can see that the indices have been removed. And basically that's how to export it into uh, multiple sheets. Um, watch my other video on how to import data from multiple sheets onto your Python environment. See you next time. Bye.